And of course, a huge welcome back. This could be the quickest show I've ever worked on in <laughs> my life. It's all go. <laughs> Ashleen is in the hot seat tonight. Ashleen, remind me and the viewers at home what's on the menu. I've forgotten because it's right in front of me. We are doing, <laughs> let me tell you, we're doing miso and maple glazed salmon with coconut rice. Now, this is gorgeous. And talking of love, because that's kind of been the theme of the show, if, you know, next Monday's Valentine's coming up, if you want to do a little bit of prep and maybe cook something nice for your other half and you weren't a majorly, like, serious Competent. cook. Yes. Competent. This, so this is, is ideal. ideal. One tray. Now, yeah. I One have tray. a revelation. We are live on the telly. I do not eat fish. You've got a weapon in your hand yes. because of it. <laughs> because it moves. I don't eat fish. Yeah, just want to okay. put that out there. That's fine. Well, you know what? This goes really well with chicken. Nice. Or yeah, tofu. Perfect something like tofu, that. So you could do yeah. it something or like could you that. Put yeah. Beef or steak in there? Yeah, really thin, like minute steak, something right. like that. They might dry out ever so slightly. The salmon has that little bit of fat in it. Right. So it keeps it really moist. Do I eat anything fatty? I mean, come on. <laughs> Definitely not. Thank you. Definitely not. A couple right. of steps. First, yes. we're going to make the marinade. Of course. That goes onto the salmon. I'm going to show you how to blanch a couple of vegetables, which is such a great tip to know. And we're going to talk about the rice. So to start, umami, okay? I talk a lot about umami when I cook. Now, if you've never heard of umami, this is this fifth taste sense. It's this depth of savoury flavour that when you eat something, you go, oh, that's delicious. Sounds but you so can't. Sexy, yeah. it, it really is. It's, oh. it's fabulous. We need oh. that for Valentine's, don't we? This is the table. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so umami paste does that. Umami. Or, or, yeah. Umami. So this is, um, and it works really, really well. So umami okay. is just, it's and where would you get that? Really... Anywhere in the supermarket? Yeah. So yeah. it works really, it's just, it's such a lovely ingredient. It's right. in the, the fridge section in the supermarket. Mm. So it works great. And then to that, so that's the base of the savouriness, right? Into mm. that then we're going to add a little bit of sesame oil, oh. um, which gives a kind of a little nutty flavour, really, really nice. So this is a really, it's, as you were saying, it's kind of like a posh takeaway kind of thing, but really, really lovely. See how I said that? Mm. I, I knew it. You knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Maple syrup going Maple in. Syrup. So this is the sweetness, okay? So you want mm. sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and the umami. Um, this is white wine vinegar. Now, mirin or white wine vinegar works really, really well. Mirin mm. is a little bit um, There's a nice portion there subtle. in there. <laughs> she's like that with the syrup, the white wine, just like pour. And you do. Sometimes when people cook at home, they're a little bit afraid of these ingredients. And look, yeah. this is one of the things. I know sometimes people go, sure, I'll have to go and buy five bottles and six bottles. It'll be cheaper to get a takeaway. No, it won't. Each one of these is about two, two fifty in the supermarket. And, and they last. They last. Healthy, but yeah. they last. And yeah. These are the basis of every single stir fry in some combination, but just a slightly different combination, you know, so it's mm. ideal. Into that I'm putting soy sauce, or you can use teriyaki. A lot of people can't find teriyaki in supermarkets, so I tried to steer away from it in my recipes, mm. but it is simply soy sauce with a little bit of sugar. We're using yeah. the maple syrup and the mirin. So it's the same Is that teriyaki kind of thing. there That then? is yeah. teriyaki, yeah. so I just put a little bit. The lovely thing about teriyaki is it's a little bit more depth of flavor again, but it's thicker, so thicker, it kind of yeah. holds really nicely. Into that I am putting, I have minced up some fresh garlic and fresh ginger and you do notice the freshness of those ingredients they're really really nice yeah it does and as I said that's what sometimes when you cook at home you miss into that I'm going to put a little bit of red chili Ooh, a little bit of heat a little bit Valentine's. of spring onion yes. yeah and it but it's it's the hotness the little bit of heat not overly hot and then you've got the freshness there's so much freshness in this I'm gonna pop in just a little bit of lime juice as well so you've got <laughs> mind the salmon mind the salmon <laughs> so you've got your acid in there as well okay so it's really nice top tip which I didn't do uh, roll your limes for 10 seconds before you squeeze them and the juice comes out much easier or in the microwave for 10 seconds roll and your limes hey. people all the juice comes out so that is our marinade like that's it it's that Lovely. quick pour it over and your you don't salmon. have to let it settle for a while or anything no oh. you don't have to cook yeah. it in advance you good don't question have to Una. Do yes. anything to Ready that, to go. I am going to put, I'm actually going to move this out of the way for a sec. Yeah. I'm going to do on my tray bake um, a little bit of tender stem broccoli and a little bit of asparagus, right? I have a little pan of water here. I'm putting them in three or four minutes. So what I'm doing is blanching them. Mm. Put them in three or four minutes, drain them off, plunge them into a little bit of ice cold water. Stops the cooking, keeps this beautiful, vibrant green colour, but they're cooked all the way through. So it means that if you put them in here raw, they might burn a little bit on the outside, yes. but still be hard on the inside. Yeah. So blanching them is really good. And I've started to do that a lot at home lately. On a weekend, I'll blanch off maybe some sweet potatoes and green veg so that when the week is busy and you mightn't be tempted to eat so many veg, have them, pop them in the air fryer, pop them in the oven, reheat them, have them in your salads, and it's such a great so way to do it. So do they go in then with the They're salmon? They're going to go on that. Straight, yeah. Like straight away with the salmon? Literally, I'm going to do And they don't burn then because they've been blanched. Exactly. I want to know what's oh, in here. That's good. 
there's nothing in there yet. Oh, there's a coming. surprise. <laughs> yes, a Could surprise. you, I mean, if you wanted to be naughty, it's Valentine's. Could yes. you also have this with, like, chips or rice or something if oh, you wanted yeah. to? Oh, yeah. Whoa, the, the rice is the naughty part of this. There we are. Yeah, it is so good. Let me tell you better. So, veg on. Yeah. That goes in the oven, 180 for about 15, 20 minutes until the salmon is cooked through. And is the 180 really important? Because I always go, says 180, I yank it up to 200. <laughs> yeah. Is that quite not, important to keep no, at 180? No, I'm very no. flexible with right. 180. I, 180 Just is a lovely well. general mm. kind of um, cooking one. Yeah, and it's, it saves everything, so yeah. But if you're, if you're in a rush, 200, it'll get the salmon nice and crispy on the top and get the nice. glaze nice and crispy. Mm. Coconut rice. This is the fun part. Okay. Um, this is delicious. It is basically cooking rice in coconut, coconut milk. Mm. And you get this background, creamy, fragrant, coconutiness Hush. that is gorgeous. You know, has that yeah. It doesn't just taste like you've just boiled in a bag. It's almost kind of yeah. desserty like, don't yeah. you think? Like a pudding. Now, this is where the secret comes in. Mm. You basically put this on, <laughs> you want to steam it, so put the lid on. So essentially, what I, would, actually, yeah. Yeah, what I would normally use is your tin of coconut milk mm -hmm. and then two to three tins of water. You can add yeah. a little bit of chicken stock in there if you want, or okay. vegetable stock, give it a little bit more flavour. Bring it to the boil, you can put in a little bit of star anise, um, something like that if you want. Bring it to the boil and this is what it comes out like. And it's okay. cooked, it's fluffy, so it, it uses the evaporation oh, what technique. What rice do you like to use? Is it long grain or basmati? Basmati. Basmati, basmati yeah. for this works really nice. Okay. And I've actually used white rice tonight. I normally use whole grain rice, but just mm. there's something about the lovely colour actually of this yeah. for, for the presentation. It's really, really nice. Can you see how gorgeous and fluffy that is? Yeah. Mm. Hasn't stuck together, but it's got that creamy cream. So you are adding calories. Let's not kid ourselves here. It's yeah. a tin of coconut milk Stop on in there. Stop telling lies. <laughs> calories, <laughs> Mallory's. Now I'm normally light enough handed with the salt. This I thought that was sugar for a second. No, no. <laughs> She's all about calories, put some sugar on that. <laughs> the sugar's on the salmon already in the maple syrup. But look, it is. It's yeah. about that balance. So it's definitely nice to kind of make it a little bit more together. savory as well. Because it's, oh, otherwise it could the be combination like a between yeah. the salt and yeah. the sweetness from the coconut milk yeah. is One amazing. Minute. So we're going to plate this up, right? Yeah. That's your beautiful, beautiful rice done. This I'm is a talent to do this with us talking yes. to us and on live telly. Wow. I'm multitasking for Hello, I'm taking notes. Onto that, I'm going to borrow this for a second. That's mine, you can take it. <laughs> Thanks very much. I have a tiny little bit of bok choy oh. that I've just wilted down. So how really, long would you really nice. to cook that? Again, right. I blanched it, blanched just like it, yeah. that, it's three quickly. minutes. Luna, pay attention, yeah. she blanched it. She blanched it, <laughs> two to three minutes. And look at this. Oh wow, that's salmon. the gorgeous oh, colour. Guys, how beautiful is that? Beautiful. Isn't it? Lovely. And garnish it then, a little bit of pickled ginger if you want, a little bit of radish, a little bit of red chilli, spring onion, and it is just, it's oh, gorgeous. gorgeous. And it's so yeah. quick, it's really, really quick and easy but just incredibly delish. So there you oh, go, guys. Lovely. That is that our miso and miso yeah, glazed salmon. I want to dip bread in that soya sauce as well. I'll do that and afterwards. And you probably have like it with chicken maybe or... Chicken, yeah, or some beef or something. Like chicken, yeah, tofu, so really, really, you're very welcome. Yeah. Mm. Well, thank you so much for that, Ashleen. It's absolutely delicious. That's all we have time for today. Thank you so much to all our guests tonight. Yes, and we are back tomorrow and we'll be chatting with astronaut Shane Kimbro, who took some amazing pictures of Ireland from space. Plus, we will have all the goss from tonight's Brits. Think of the fashion. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, you can watch the Brit Awards to live tonight on Virgin Media 2 from 8pm. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 6. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. I'm going now. to taste the salmon. Are you going to do it? I'm Come going, on, I dare you. It's very exciting.